Hello there guys and welcome back to 100% Chelsea for another episode of Chelsea Weekly and um, first of all um, I have to apologise for not you know uploading um, a review of the Chelsea versus Middlesbrough game obviously taking place on Monday um, you know I was away for the weekend I went to Berlin and I you know I could, just couldn't record and upload so I'm sorry for that um, obviously just gonna quickly talk about it as well obviously we won 3-0 great performance overall I felt like um, the three goals came by um, Diego Costa, Marcos Alonso and Nemanja Matic man of the match um, Easily and clearly went to Cesc Fabregas with two assists for the Diego Costa and the Nemanja Matic goal and generally just an outstanding performance by Cesc Fabregas um, who missed the game or who played in the game because N'Golo Kante missed the game. Not sure if Fabregas would, would have been on the bench if Kante was fit but um, you know he obviously took his position in the centre of midfield. Anyway, um, yeah, like I said, obviously great performance and now, you all know this, but if we do win on Friday away at West Brom, we're champions. Like, we're, we're actually champions if we win on Friday before Tottenham even kick a ball next time. So, I'm bloody excited for it. I'm bloody excited. Um, anyway, actually getting into this week's Chelsea Weekly. Um, after that very game against Middlesbrough, Diego Costa gave an interview, I think, to ESPN, talking about the whole rumours about him going to China. Obviously, you know, there have been so many rumours. Some club in China apparently offering him more than £670,000 a week, which is just absolutely insane. Um, but he did give an interview, as I said, and he said... I am the owner of my future, and it does not mean that I am going to China. So, um, uh, you know, I don't really know what it means. All that it means is that he's not necessarily going to China, I guess. I've seen small reports that he might be going to PSG as well. I don't really know what's happening on the whole situation, but just getting into the next story, which kind of links to it as well. If Diego Costa is to leave, our first target isn't, for example, Lukaku, but apparently um, Real Madrid's Alvaro Morata, which, in that case, I wouldn't be happy about it at all. Because, um... Like, Diego Costa is a great striker. He's proven it in the Prem. He's proven it in Spain. He's proven it in the Champions League to some extent. Not so much with us, but more with Atletico getting to the final, of course. And, you know, he's proved it. Morata, yeah, he done all right in the Champions League, to be fair. Um, like last year when he was at Juve. He didn't do particularly great at Juventus as the starting striker. He scored only, like, 12 goals. He's doing really well, actually, at Madrid this season when he's playing. But he's not playing a lot. And when he is, it's against small teams. So, how... How much can you take it into consideration, really? Um, I'm not sure, but I'd much rather keep Diego Costa than sign Alvaro Morata if it's like one for one. So, um, Diego, you know, can you just be, be happy in London? You know, enjoy it, enjoy being at Chelsea because it's great, mate. You know, we're doing bits, we're winning the league. Who knows what we're going to be doing next season? You know, Premier League, Champions League, FA Cup, League Cup. We're in all of it. So, um, Diego, if if it's Morata coming instead of you, Please just stick around, mate. <laughs> um, and getting to my last story um, of the day, really, obviously there have been a lot of reports about Inter Milan desperately wanting to sign Antonio Conte in the summer, and they have actually sacked their manager just a few days ago. So um, obviously this re these reports like sparked even more, um, naturally. And now the Mirror have reported that Chelsea is willing to hand title-bound Antonio Conte a new contract and also back a huge summer transfer splurge, which would obviously be great. And um, you know, Antonio Conte definitely deserves a new contract just because of what he's done this season. Do I think he'd leave even without a new contract, a better contract? I don't think so, because um, you know, he's came here. He's not. He's not just coming here to prove a point how good he is and just goes back to Italy. I, I don't really think so. Um, you know, his daughter and his wife were at the game against Borough as well. So um, it doesn't all look like there's so many issues with them being in Italy and him being here and stuff. I I just think they're gonna move to London with him. <laughs> but yeah, that's that story. Obviously, like I said, he definitely deserves that contract. That's obviously great news, really. Whether you believe me or whether you believe the mirror saying we're offering a new better contract and backing him in the transfer window either way um that's it for me today leave me all of your thoughts on all these mentioned stories down in the comment section below first of all leave me your thoughts on our three no victory over middlesbrough then leave me all of your thoughts on what Diego Costa said after the game to espn what are your thoughts on morata being Diego costa's replacement if he is to leave are you you know on the same side as me really not too happy and then obviously your thoughts on the whole Antonio Conte new contract situation leave me all of your thoughts on that as well thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoyed it I think um the preview should be out tomorrow because we're playing Friday so the press conference should be tomorrow and um, obviously then preview tomorrow review after the game on Friday I hope you know you're gonna watch it I hope you'll be here um I definitely will again thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy the video leave a like subscribe if you haven't already been massive did you appreciate that again thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed it up the shells soon to be champions and i'll see you next time